In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adorable Will, I want to pray these titles, but I am unable to do it. Come and do it with me, and I'll do everything well. Jesus and Mary, I love you, and glory to my Creator, one with Louisa, Blessed Daughter. Louisa, whose will is enclosed in the Divine Will, where it works with all liberty, all sumptuousness, with the luxury of grace, and with the splendour of its divine varieties. Louisa, who Jesus disposed over a new cross, not given to anyone else, to mature and dispose her in order for God to do the complete act of his will. Louisa, who the divine fiat has never left. Louisa, who feels the divine fiat's sweet and ruling impression over every fibre, motion, and desire of her volition. Louisa, over whom the divine fiat held and maintained its royal dominion. Louisa, whose fibre, motion, heart, the divine fiat dominated and formed Jesus' fibres, his motions, his heart in her. Louisa, in whose whole being the divine fiat dominated and formed the whole of Jesus. Louisa, the soul who possesses the divine will and feels the need together with it to give herself to everyone, to do good to everyone, to run with her acts to everyone, wanting to make so many Jesuses in order to give him to each one. Louisa, Jesus' joy. Louisa, Jesus' continuous feast. Jesus and Mary, I glorify you and I praise you, one with Louisa, daughter of Jesus' volition. Louisa, one who labours in her little field in the immensity of the divine will. Louisa, first labourer in the divine will. Louisa, who living in the divine will acquired a century of divine love, works, sacrifices, knowledges, and profound adorations. Louisa, creature in the tiny little field of the immensity of the divine will at whose disposition Jesus placed his humanity. Louisa, Jesus's blessed daughter. Louisa, creature who the divine will encloses in its love. Louisa, creature who the divine will veils with its light. Louisa, creature in whom the divine will begins its perennial feast. Louisa, creature who together with the triune God loves with one single love and holds and has the same life. Louisa, creature whose fiat is the divine fiat, such that the harmony, the order of her creator arises in her. Louisa, creature in whom the triune God's will and love has obtained its purpose. Louisa, 
beloved creature in whom the divine will enjoys itself. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' volition. Louisa, creature whose acts the divine will formed into light. Louisa, creature in whom the divine will formed its life and its acts. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, to whom Jesus narrates the surprises of the celestial mother. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, who Jesus kissed with his omnipotent breath in order to communicate the certainty of the goods and the great prodigy that his mother will do for the human generations. Louisa, who gave Jesus the feast his mother gave him in being born. Louisa, who enveloped heaven and earth with her I love you to Jesus. Louisa, who clasped Jesus to her heart in order to warm him with her love. Louisa, who with the light of the divine will formed the clothes in order to dress Jesus and make feast for him. Louisa, who Jesus made feast for by giving her new love and new knowledge about his will. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, whose every act in the divine will in her, Jesus makes his feast. Louisa, whose act in the divine will the Supreme Being elevates and calls it their act, in the height of their eternal act. Louisa, to whose act in the divine will eternity goes around, surrounds and belongs. Louisa, whose act in the divine will leaves from the bosom of the Eternal One and forms one more feast for the Supreme Being, one more feast for the whole of heaven, and a help, strength, and defense for the whole earth. Louisa, whose life in the divine will is the unique satisfaction the Supreme Being experiences. Louisa, whose life in the divine will is the true reciprocation that the Supreme Being receives because they have created creation. Louisa, whose life in the divine will is the contest of love between creator and creature. Louisa, whose life in the divine will moves the Supreme Being to give new surprises of graces and she to receiving them. Louisa, creature who runs in the divine fiat and pays the Supreme Being for everything they have done. Louisa, creature who lives in the divine will and is the Supreme Beings and they are all hers. Louisa, God is all hers and cannot escape from her because his omnipotent fiat holds him bound in her. Louisa, daughter of the divine will, and beautiful is the course of the divine fiat with her. Jesus and Mary, I praise you and I thank you, one with 
Louisa, whose human volition braids everything and the divine fiat is extendable in all her acts. Louisa, who united with the divine will, has the right of being able to enter everywhere. Louisa, who united with the divine will, has the right to embrace everything. Louisa, who united with the divine will, has the right to make God's works hers. Louisa, whose acts in the divine volition form one single act and possess the same goods. Louisa, one who lives in the divine fiat and the thread of her human volition runs in Jesus' conception, in his birth, in his infantile tears, in his sufferings. Louisa, one who possesses the divine will, God's works and Jesus' whole life, who finds the refuge, the space, the room, for where to be able to continue Jesus' life, his works. Louisa, the soul who acquires the practicing act and converts into her nature Jesus' works and his life. Louisa, refuge of the triune God's sanctity. Louisa, Refuge of the Triune God's Love Louisa Refuge of the Life of the Triune God's Will Louisa Jesus' Good Daughter Louisa In whom the love of the Divine Will wants to do works worthy of it Louisa, little repeater of the divine will's life, of its love. Louisa, in whom the divine will hides, in the sanctity and multiplicity of its works. Louisa, in whom the divine will wants to continue its creative work. Louisa, in whom the divine will wants to form, repeat, and extend in the whole creation. Louisa, one who the divine will does everything for. Louisa, everything that the divine will does is hers. Louisa, creature to whom the divine will gives the love and value of the sky. Louisa, creature in whom the divine will encloses the value and the love that it had in creating the sun and lets her do the office of the sun. Louisa, in whom the divine fiat Let's do the office of the wind, the sea, and gives her the virtue of always murmuring, love, love, love. Louisa, who delights in pronouncing the fiat in the work of creation. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, Creature who lives in harmony with the divine will. Louisa. Creature in whose act the creative work pronounces its fiat and forms Jesus' life and encloses his sufferings. Louisa. Creature in whose act the creative work pronounces its fiat and encloses in her sufferings the value of Jesus' sufferings. 
Louisa, creature over whose tears the creative work pronounces its fiat and places the value of Jesus' tears. Louisa, creature whose works, steps, heartbeat, the divine fiat follows and encloses there the value of Jesus' works, steps, and love. Louisa, creature in whose prayers and natural acts the divine fiat encloses the value of Jesus' acts. Louisa, one in whom Jesus feels himself repeats his life and it doubles the value in order to purchase his divine will for the benefit of the human generations. Louisa, creature in whom the divine fiat enclosed the value of creation and redemption. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine fiat encloses the celestial fatherland and makes resound its glory, its joys, the eternal beatitude as seal and confirmation of the creative and redemptive work it has formed in her. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine fiat creates there its heartbeat, its breath. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine fiat makes its life, its light circulate like blood. Louisa, the soul who the divine will triumphantly gives the new name, my fiat. Louisa, whose name, my fiat, is the most beautiful name that will make all of heaven smile and all of hell tremble. Louisa, one who lives in the divine will and lets Jesus do what he wants, and only to her can Jesus give the name, my fiat. Jesus and Mary, I thank you and I esteem you, one with Louisa, daughter of Jesus' volition. Louisa, daughter of the celestial mamas, maternal heart. Louisa, Jesus' little daughter of his volition. Louisa, creature whose one additional act in the divine will is one more harmony that she casts between heaven and earth. Louisa, creature whose each additional act is one new celestial music that she forms for her creator. Louisa, the soul to whom the triune God gives their will anew, as operating life in her that forms for them other new and beautiful music. Louisa, the soul whose new and beautiful music causes all heaven to make a new feast. Louisa, the soul whose each additional act in the divine will is an overwhelming of heavens and earth. Louisa, creature in whose little circle is the operating power of the divine will. Louisa, creature whose one additional act in the divine will is an incorporating of God in the creature and the creature in God. Louisa, creature who feels in herself as life, the love, the sanctity, the life of her creator. Louisa, creature whose little love, 
the Eternal One feels flow in himself. Louisa, creature who, living in the Creator, forms one single love, one single will. Louisa, creature whose every breath, heartbeat, motion, are wounds, arrows, darts of love that she gives to he who has created her. Louisa, creature fused in God, who loves with his love and with conquering love. Louisa, creature on earth who the heavens look at and find their creator, who while he has his throne in her, lives together with her. Louisa, creature who the divine being invests and lets themselves be invested. Louisa, creature whose every additional act in the divine will, the divine being increases greater bonds of union, of love, on both parts. Louisa, creature to whom the divine being arrives at giving new rights over their divine being and to them over her. Louisa, the soul who the divine will moulds, blows on and enlarges her capacity. Louisa, the soul in whom the divine will finds its little paradise where it rests and administers the helps. Louisa, the soul who the sky is extended over to keep watch over her. Louisa, the soul whose eye the sun fills with light and invests her hands and steps. Louisa, whose soul the sun penetrates into and fills her with love, with light, with the fecundity of which it is filled by the divine will. Louisa, the soul in whom the sun leaves the deposit of its heat, of its light. Louisa, the soul in whom the sun forms the beautiful flowerings. Louisa, the soul in whom the sun forms the variety of colours and all the rest for love of her who possesses the divine will. Louisa, creature who the divine will visits every time the sun invests her. Louisa, the soul to whom the air gives the breath of divine will. Louisa, the soul to whom the wind gives the caresses, the kisses, the empire of divine will to Jesus' life that she possesses. Louisa, the creature whose every act, thought, word, heartbeat, work, step that she does, is a divine emanation that the triune God makes her. Louisa, the creature in whose acts the divine being runs to give her theirs. Louisa, the creature who the divine being surrounds and vivifies to let her be reborn in their will. Louisa, the creature at whose disposition the divine being places themselves to form this life of divine will. Louisa, creature in whose will the Supreme Being wants to form the beautiful generation of the divine will. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, creature in whose every act the generative act that the divine will possesses becomes enclosed. 
Louisa, creature whose every act lends the divine will, the veil for where to form and hide this divine birth. Jesus and Mary, I esteem you and I honor you, one with Louisa, creature whose every additional act forms one more child in the divine kingdom. Louisa, creature who the divine will calls into its acts. Louisa, one who lets Jesus generate his life in her acts. Louisa, Jesus's blessed daughter. Louisa, one who retraces all of God's works, who finds his divine breath and brings them back to God as fruits and power of the breath of her creator. Louisa, one who God pours torrents of love and of graces toward. Louisa, one who has known God's works and his love. Louisa, creature who is mistress of everything. Louisa, one to whom the divine will makes a gift of everything to, giving her a large field to be able to give to her creator and to receive his exchange doubled. Louisa, one who recognizes, appreciates, and loves God's works. Louisa, one to whom love gives the right of making hers what belongs to the eternal volition. Louisa, one who Jesus wants to give everything to. Louisa, one who the divine volition supplies everything for. Louisa, one who the divine will recalls its aptitude, its order, its love, and she rouses herself and resumes her life together. Louisa, daughter of Jesus' will. Louisa, the soul where the divine being's love goes to unload itself and pause to rest a little. Louisa, the soul drowned in Jesus' love. Louisa, the soul who feels Jesus' moans, his need of being loved in return, who immediately reciprocates him in love. Louisa, the soul who feels the necessity of being loved by he who loves her so much. Louisa, one who lives in the divine volition and loves the triune God in all hearts. Louisa, one whose note of love is beautiful in all hearts. Louisa, one who loves the triune God in the past and in the future. Louisa, she who loves the triune God and in everything they want her note of love. Louisa, the soul who the divine will transports everywhere. Louisa, the soul living in the divine will, and the first gift it makes her is love. Louisa, creature whose note of love the divine fiat transports to the Empyrean. Louisa, creature whose note of love the divine fiat makes resound in the saints, in the angels, in the virgin in the Most Holy Trinity, 
in a way that everyone feels double glory. Louisa, creature who has let the divine fiat operate, who all of the Empyrean celebrate, such that she is on the earth, and she becomes celebrated in heaven. Louisa, one who lives in the divine will, who gives it the exchange of love for everything and everyone. Louisa, creature in whose love the divine fiat finds everything it wants. Louisa, creature in whom the divine fiat finds life as its. Louisa, creature in whom the divine fiat finds the glory that is due it. Louisa, creature in whom the divine fiat finds the appreciation, the esteem that is owed to it. Louisa, creature in whom the divine fiat finds the true filial trust in order to be able to give her everything. Louisa, Jesus' little daughter of his volition. Louisa, one who lives in the divine volition and everything is hers. Louisa, whose possession is Jesus' life. Louisa, whose possession is Jesus' sufferings and his breath. Jesus and Mary, I honour you and I cherish you, one with Louisa, the soul who develops her acts in the field of creation and the field of Jesus' humanity. Louisa, possessor of the divine will, who feels the need to circulate in it like blood in the veins in the works of her creator. Louisa, the heiress of the whole creation. Louisa, creature who repeats Jesus' life and loves with his own love. Louisa, the soul who Jesus feels flow in his tears, his words, his works, his steps. Louisa, the soul in whom Jesus finds refreshment in his sufferings. Louisa, the soul in whom Jesus finds his support, his defense, his refuge. Louisa, the soul who Jesus calls his life. Louisa, the soul who Jesus loves, possesses, and she possesses him. Louisa, the soul disposed to receive all the sufferings of Jesus' humanity. Louisa, the soul who is a new saviour, who gave her life to save the entire world. Louisa, the soul who is Jesus' faithful copy, whose sufferings make her smile because she encloses souls. Louisa, the soul whose company in developing the same life, sufferings and wants as Jesus is his greatest happiness and his paradise on earth. Louisa, the soul who with right is master of Jesus' will. Louisa, the soul inseparable from the triune God. Louisa, creature who hides herself in the bosom of her creator. 
Louisa, one who has taken her place in the divine order. Louisa, one who wants and does what the triune God does. Louisa, one who feels herself queen. Louisa, one in whom creation feels the operating virtue of the divine volition. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, one who enters the divine will and finds the first love of Adam, his first acts that give her the right of possessing the divine fiat and repeating the same acts Adam did. Louisa, one who operates in the divine volition and renders herself eternal with the triune God. Louisa, one who places herself at the disposition of everyone. Louisa, creature who disperses her life in order to give the possession of the divine kingdom to the human family. Louisa, Jesus' blessed daughter. Louisa, creature in whose every act the divine will runs. Louisa, creature whose word the divine will invests with its fiat and increases its divine power in her word. Louisa, creature whose works the divine will clasps to itself, invests them with its fiat and augments its divine power in them. Louisa, creature whose step the divine will invests and gives them such power as to always run toward the one who always runs toward her. Louisa, creature whose love the divine will runs to in order to give her new love. Louisa, creature whose desires to be good, the divine will runs and augments her goodness. Louisa, creature whose every thought, heartbeat, breath is invested with the divine fiat to make its wisdom, its beauty, the heartbeat of its eternal love grow. Louisa, creature who the divine volition invests and runs to give her more light, giving her the properties that the light contains. Louisa, creature to whom the divine volition gives its divine sweetness, its fecundity, the variety of its celestial fragrances, the tastes of its divine flavours, its supreme qualities as the most beautiful variety of colours. Louisa, the divine volition's beloved creature. Louisa, creature who, as the wind blows, the divine volition runs and invests and with its fiat augments the power of its ruling love, its divine moans, to make her moan with its moans and sighs for the kingdom to come on earth. Louisa, creature who the divine volition kisses, caresses, clasps strongly to itself. Jesus and Mary, I cherish you and I love you, one with Louisa, creature who in drinking water the divine volition runs to invest her with its freshness and celestial refreshment. Louisa, creature who in taking food 
the divine volition runs to nourish with the food of its will, so that the divine life grows in her. Louisa Creature who the divine volition strengthens and greatly confirms itself in her. Louisa The soul in whose little sea the divine will discharges its highest waves, enlarging in a marvellous and prodigious way the capacity and abundance of it. Louisa, one who the divine will keeps itself watch over. Louisa, poor daughter. Louisa, the triune God's daughter. Louisa, daughter of the triune God's volition. Louisa, Jesus' little daughter of the supreme fiat. Louisa, creature whose act the divine volition runs and ascends into. Louisa, creature whose human will remains as footstool and admirer of a volition so holy. Louisa, creature in whose little place of her human will the divine fiat forms such prodigies and marvels that the sky, the sun, remain behind and it surpasses all the beauty of creation. Louisa, creature in whose little place of her human will, the divine fiat creates its divine music, the most refulgent suns, its operating life, its new joys. Louisa, creature whose act in the divine will gladdens the celestial fatherland. Louisa, creature who feels within herself the creative and continuous virtue of the divine fiat in the act of always making new conquests. Louisa, creature whose act in the divine will is brought into heaven as new glory and joy for the saints. Louisa, creature whose act in the divine will is brought as beneficial rain for all the wayfarers. Louisa, one who lets the divine will operate in her acts. Louisa, the new joy of heaven. Louisa, the beloved. Louisa, the welcome one. Louisa, the longed for of the whole celestial court. Louisa, creature who the divine will wants to do everything for and does not want to entrust her to anyone. Louisa, creature who the divine will with its fiat creates. Louisa, creature who the divine will with its fiat raises. Louisa, creature who the divine will with its fiat nourishes. Louisa, creature who the divine will with its fiat carries always in its arms of light. Louisa, creature who the divine will acts as teacher for, teaching her the most sacred sciences. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Fiat. You have reached the end of day 32 
of the titles of Louisa. Fiat, 